Hello everyone, this is Joyce Whitman with Stampin' Scrapper. Tonight I'm going to be making one of my projects that I made for my Merry Christmas Monday series and also for being part of Stamp Split Coast Stampers Creative Crew. Today I made the, a cover for a wine bottle. It's kind of hard to see the whole picture, but you can see it on my blog at stampinscrapper.com. But we will be making this cover for this wine bottle. Isn't that cute? It's a great to dress this up to give away as a gift or a housewarming gift. Or if you've been invited to a party and you want to take your hostess a gift. Perfect for this. And did you see this cute little tag I added on here? That I used the Merry Little Labels stamp set from the 2017 Holiday Catalog. Very easy to make. I stamp this and put gold embossing powder on it and heat set it with our beautiful foil um, snowflakes underneath that and use the scallop tag topper. Here's a quick a simple box that I made to put them in and you can get all the directions for the box and the tags on my blog at stampinscrapper.com. So let's go ahead and get started with our project today. It is a very fun project. I got this tutorial the first time I saw it from Frenchie. She's on YouTube. Thank you very much, Frenchie, for sharing that with us. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to start off with a piece of cardstock, 11 by 12. And this is part of the um, 12 by 12 paper that you can get in the annual catalog. So you're going to start with your 11 inch across the top here. You're going to want to score this at one and three fourths. Okay, right here we'll go all the way down. And then we're going to do it at three and a half, five and a quarter, seven inches, and eight and three fourths, and ten and a half. And then what you need to do is you just want to make a little mark because this is going to make the triangles here you can see on the back the triangles right here so um, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little notch here so you're going to know where to cut them so what we're going to do is we're going to put it at seven eighths uh, let's see here oh, one inch here we go seven eighths two and five eighths four and three eighths six and an eighth, seven and seven eighths, and nine and five eighths. So I have nine and five eighths. Okay, then what I want you to do is turn this, and you're going to score this, now the 12 inches across the top now. So score at two, all the way down, and at 10. Perfect, now we can take that and what you need to do now is burnish all of those folds that we just did. We'll go ahead and score on all of those. I'm so excited for the holiday season. I have some great projects lined up for my series, Merry Christmas Monday. I just finished, whoops, um, I just finished with my Fall Friday projects and that was real fun coming up with new projects to do. Um, my classes loved it because usually whatever I made, if I had made a little treat holder or something, I put that, I also made it as their thank you gift for coming to class. So they were real excited about that. Okay, so everything now is folded. What you're going to want to do is see this section right here that's small and it has just the half inch. Okay, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, I let me double check here before I cut to make sure. Oh, uh, where's my seam? Yes, I do. I want to cut off this square right here. So I'm just going to cut down. I'm trying to make sure I get this in the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to cut off this little section here and go to that first line right there. Now I want to angle this just a little bit because it'll fold a little bit easier. So I just did a little fold. Same thing here. Do it at an angle and then cut that little square off. Now remember we made those little tick marks. We made those little notches here. So what I do, a little bit different than what Frenchie did, is I my point, let me bring it in here so you can see what I'm talking about. 
Okay, here's my little mark to where I marked it. So I wanna take my scissors and cut from here to here and then there to the corner. So I am going to just go put my corner here like that. And then I'm gonna to go to my next one and go to the corner. Now, I'm a big one on everything has to be the same. I know my OCD is kicking in. So what I did is I folded that. See where I made my first cut? Then I folded it here like this. So then I can just copy it. So it's gonna be the same cut. Let's see if I can grab that a little bit better. This is a lot easier when you don't have the camera in the way. And the stand, okay, here we go. And just cut it down. And you're gonna do the same thing on this side. Sometimes it's easier just to lay it on your grid paper. There we go. And cut it down. There. And then you can do it and you'll have two of them in place. Or you can just go ahead and do your notches the way you want to. This is just me and my lovely OCD-ness having to make sure everything is even. I think sometimes I drive my family nuts with that. But thank goodness they realize that's just the way mommy is. And then pull that out. Now, if you want to, you could round your corners here, the tips, if you want to. I do not. I just leave them pointed like this. Okay, so now we're going to flip this over here like this and do our last two. There. And now they'll all pretty much be close to even. Okay, two more cuts and then we'll have this part done. Oops, and then we need to go over here. There we go. Okay, get those trash out of the way. Now there's, see how we have the points all going across. That's gonna be our top. So then we wanna flip it and on this end, you're just going to cut from the end all the way up to your first score line. And you're gonna do that on each line. So you just wanna go up to that first score line. This is gonna make the bottom of our bottle. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I wanted to, whoops, excuse me. I needed to take this out because I need to use this bottle for this one that we're gonna do. I forgot to grab another bottle. Shh, don't tell anyone if there's some missing out of that bottle. Okay, what I want to do is I want to put some um, sticky tape. This is tearing tape. And you're going to put it right near the, your um, score line. Go ahead and put it across here. Now you can tear this. It is called tearing tape. I just cut it, have it, I think. All right, now you also want to, because we want to be able to put our ribbon through the top, so I took my 1 4th inch punch, and what I did, again, it's easier for me just to do two of them and line it up where you want it. And you want to go down, oh, I would say, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going down probably, I would say, about a half inch. You want to go down far enough so it's not going to rip when you put your ribbon through. And then what I did was I folded it like this and that way then they're even and you just line it up with your one on the top. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see how I'm lining that up. I'm trying to look at the camera and watch what I'm doing too at the same time. Still new at making these videos. I'm sure if I do more, this will get easier for me to do. Okay, oops. Right. and fold it and we can do the last two okay. and one more and then we'll have our holes all done here and we can start decorating our 
um, paper. Okay, so I like to, while it's flat, for me, it's easier to decorate it this way. So what I did was I cut out six pieces of designer series paper and I am using this is from the Be Merry and um, Christmas paper in the annual catalog and I cut these at seven and three fourths by one and a half inches and once you know I had them in order and I just messed them up the way I sat them down here oh ah! okay I think let's see here okay these two go together oh goodness Joyce does anyone else do that too you think you have it all in order and then you realize you messed up. Okay, these two go here. Because see my trees are matching up there. And then let's see here. Oops, I think we need to go over. I was trying to be organized and it just didn't work, did it? Oops, goes this way. Okay. Take these, oh, there we go. Now we got it right. Oh goodness, Joyce. Okay, here we go. So now my if you put them next together next to each other, they would all line up. There we go. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use fast fuse to um make sure that these adhere good. You could use snail if you wanted to, but I knew with people touching it, with me carrying it in um to the place to give away as gifts, I wanted to make sure. Let me turn this little bit it'll be easier to put this on I wanted to make sure that they these panels stayed on nice so I'm going to use the fast fuse does anyone remember how my little trick that I have for lining things up what I do is I make sure like this side this side and this side are all even if you have all of those the same they're all centered then just lay your paper down and everything will be center, centered. Easy peasy. There we go. Has anyone been working on their Christmas projects yet? You know, as crafters, we seem to get started real early, especially if you do craft fairs. I really wanted to try those this year, but time has just gotten away from me with Erica moving this spring, or fall I mean. Things have been a little busy, and my lovely daycare children have been keeping me busy, and I'm so excited. I'm going to get a new baby in January. Yay! Time for baby snuggles. All right, so we'll get our last one on here. And there we go. Okay, so what we're going to want to do next now is tear this off. Oh, I forgot to grab my... Here we go. My nails sometimes get in the way of pulling this up. I usually use a pair of tweezers or my piercing tool. And if you fold this in half like this and just fold this over, it's going to match up perfectly. Press it real well because you want to make sure it sticks. Okay, so now to figure out how you want to fold this, this is my back seam. So I know I want that in the back of my project. So I want to make sure, go across from that, this is going to be my front flap. So I want to put this one on last. So I'm going to put uh, tape on this one right here. Oops, helps if you put it on the right way. Oh, make sure I'm in the picture. Okay, so I'm going to take it, and you're going to put it with the one directly across from it. This is hard to do my... There we go. You want to do it so it's directly across. You know what? We'll make this a little easier. And I remember this from the first one. I mean, put your wine bottle in and it'll be easier to adhere your page papers. I'm trying to grab this so I can show you what I mean. Because you have that to press on. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see what I'm doing here. But you want to put them together. I'll show you. Okay. And you want to line them up. There we go. Oh, there. I'll just stand it. There. So then I want to, let me find my back seam again. So this is going to be my front. So I want to put this one on next. So I'm just going to adhere some tape here. 
I know this is really close and I apologize. The um for me to do get the camera lined up, right? It's kind of close when I'm doing something really tall like this. Okay, so let's put your last one on here. Put this down and put the last one on here. Oh shoot, I wanted to grab. I'll show you on this one. I forgot to grab it. But what I did was I put I want to say, where did I do with my ruler? Let me measure it on here. I want to say, this is a like two and a half inch circle that I put on the bottom just to make it look better than here. So you can see, here's the circle. I just put taped on the bottom so it looks better. Okay, so then you have your wine bottle in here. And now you're gonna put your ribbon in. Let's take that out so you can see what I'm doing. I am going to be using our, um, oh, what's it called? Silver trimmed ribbon. And again, I want to find my front. So let me find my seam. There's my seam. So this is going to be my front. You're going to start with coming in from the back. And do you see the point that I made? That will help you get it through. Is that right? Nope. I'm, I apologize. Go through the front then all your other ones you're going to go through go behind wrap it around go behind you want to go through the back on all your other ones and i just left it on the spool because that way i could just keep pulling it and i wasn't going to waste any at the end uh, and this ribbon when you're going through the holes like that it gets frayed a little bit but we'll trim it up at the end so it'll be fine you won't have that issue. I'll make it nice. Um, oops. And I'm twisting it, straightening it out as I go along. I, um, The first time I did it, I thought, well, I'll just do it at the end. But it actually kind of was a hassle. So it, to me, it's easier just to keep it when you're working on it. Just keep it straight then. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put my wine bottle back in. There we go. You know how I say in the other videos, I keep saying, there you go. I've just come to the conclusion. I say it all the time. And I do it with the little ones during the week. Because if we're doing a project or something, I'll go, there you go. That's how that's how you do it. So I just give it up. And I'm going to say, there you go, a lot. Okay. All right. Oops, that's a little too long. We don't need quite that long. See, and this is the nice part because this is when you can adjust how long you want it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my bow. So I just tie it like I normally do. And then I want it to go. Make sure your string's going up and down. Make a loop. Oops. It's got caught underneath. Grab that. I'm just going to tie it, and you'll have a really pretty bow. I'll play with it more, but you can see kind of what I'm doing here. See how it lays. And then to decorate this one, I am going to put, I thought this was real cute, a little reindeer. And I got that from the Santa Slay stamp set. It's right here. You could have stamped it if you wanted, but I just liked him playing with them. I used the framelit called Santa Sleigh, and these two are in the annual catalog this year. And I am going to, I think I'm going to put glue dots on him and the, for the back. I'll put, I love glue dots because you can just stick them all over. There we go. Let's put, yeah, that should be good. We're going to just put him right here in the middle. There we go. Perfect. And there you have a decorated wine bottle. Much better than just handing them a bottle of wine. You can put it in a pretty, pretty package. And they will just go ooh and ah and go, oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Oh, and I forgot to trim this. So let's trim this off. Trim this up a little bit. 
And there you go. And that is how you cover your wine bottles. Thank you for stopping in today. And don't forget to go to stampinscrapper.com for all the directions and the measurements again. If you don't didn't get them the first time going through the um, video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.